foreigners if your papers are in order chill nicely invest in this country if you are tourist have a good time here but if you are here illegally take your bags and go we have no time for criminals we have no time for criminals and there's no competition I want to also give him a warning. There's no time for competition amongst people. We must not have competition. Now we're better than you. We all fight one cause of illegal foreigners. Tell us what they Please. There's no time for. Say somebody, please. Say somebody, economic staff. I'm saying to you the time has come the time has come when we must stand up for South Africans you've got the leader that's not scared they can do what they want to do don't be scared scat up Government in Muso Yaruna Rebalwansa, Rabatsa Mese Batuba. We are going to get rid of illegal foreigners. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. We are not the victims. We are not the victims. We are going to go to hospitals. We are going to go to schools. We are going to go to farms. We are going to put our children there. Or foreigners, South Africa. So just know, you can call me ex-con. You can bring up my past. You can call me all sorts of names. I will show you, you will leave this country. Zimbabweans are very, yeah, no guts. They have no guts. Zimbabweans are cowards. If you now want to get a nation of cowards, you must go to Zimbabwe. Zimbabweans are cowards, let me tell you. You know, only a handful of them, a handful of them. You know, Zimbabweans are subjugated. Zimbabweans are the whole world running away instead of facing the problems. Wherever you go, there's Zimbabweans. Educated people becoming gardeners. Because they have a choice. I'd rather become a gardener or I stand up against a government that is not looking after us. But Zimbabweans decided to blame Gaten McKenzie for their problems. Instead of blaming the people that put them in this problem, that's why they ran away from the country. Somebody must tell Zimbabweans the truth. Stop taking TikToks of me. Stop distributing in your country. I'm actually going to visit Zimbabwe. I've got good friends in Zimbabwe. I've got good friends in Zimbabwe. I'm going to Zimbabwe. I know you are cowards. You'll do me nothing when I get there. They say, you must never put this food there. I'm going to Zimbabwe because I know you are cowards. You will do me nothing when I get there. How can I be scared of cowards? You are busy every day making TikToks, having uh, lives about Gaten McKenzie. But your problem you are not facing. I'm not your problem. I've never oppressed Zimbabweans. Some of my best friends are Zimbabwean. Because you are cowards to face your problem. That's why you are gardeners here, but you are scientists. You are teacher. You talk about your education. Education, if it doesn't work for you, it means... Hi, fam. That was Gaten McKenzie sending some message to illegal foreigners as well as the Zimbabweans. On the other news, this guy from Zimbabwe was uh, arrested for hijacking a petrol tanker in SA.
His name is Platinum Prince and according to what was said on social media, he is uh, an artist and celebrity back home. And in SA people said, it seems like the Zimbabwean government is involved in these crimes that are done by, that are committed by their citizens while they are in SA. In cases like this, those organizations that are normally defending illegal foreigners in SA will normally say nothing. Please remember to also leave your comments down below and let us know of your take regarding what we've covered. And that's all we have for now. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye.